The next thing I do in my morning routine is I review my goals and mission. Um, in uh, some other um, kind of life coaching uh, styles, they would call this something like affirmations, where you're kind of giving positive thoughts to yourself, but also reviewing what you want to do and your mission in life. And so um, this is a written document. So that's the first thing. Don't just make the mistake of thinking you can remember it. Write it down. This is actually a document. I call it my creed. And um, uh, it contains my weekly goals. It contains my bigger goals. And then it contains other areas of focus that I want to think upon and remember and remind myself of. Because really, the whole point of this section of a morning routine is to remind yourself because it's so easily to it's so easy to forget what your goals are and um, it's a chance to speak positively to yourself about different areas in your life um, if you don't know where to start with this i would recommend um, creating your life plan which is a little free ebook by a guy named michael hyatt so if you just went to his site michael hyatt or if you went to michaelhyatt.com backslash creating dash your dash life dash plan and i'll put that link uh, in text there for you it's a it's a nice little way to kind of just start to think about this maybe the areas of focus where you want to be in the future so for mine again my typical morning is four to five minutes on this whereas uh, i forgot to mention in the previous uh, video that my silence meditation time is typically around eight minutes for my regular morning routine and so for this it's four to five minutes and again um, it's changing too so don't think that this is always going to be a stagnant document it's not going to be that um, my weekly goals obviously if i'm properly working towards my goals those are typically changing every week or at least every two weeks if a weekly goal if you write that down and it lasts for more than four weeks you've lost the purpose of a weekly goal those should be uh, whatever you're working on should be a bigger goal um, so I have weekly goals that I write and every week I typically erase those and add um, and put the new ones and typically uh, I'm kind of aiming at you know anywhere from two to five five being pretty high two being you know uh, you typically it's more like three um, but I they're very concrete they're not you know do better this week at you know my marital relationship you know that's so vague these are concrete goals so for instance this week if you were to look at my particular mm -hmm. creed you know my my document it would say uh complete waking up early course which is what i'm doing right now and i will finish it by the end of the week so that's uh, you know that's more concrete and uh, that uh, by the way usually my weekly goals are um, supplemented or the way I also keep on track of those is my actual task list or to-do list. I use one called the hit list but there's you know wonder list and things and omnifocus there's just tons of them or just free ones that are on your computer already even just paper. Um, so those correspond okay. After that I have my bigger goals and bigger goals are more high level they're long term and some and often my weekly goals are actually feeding directly into my bigger goals so again um, my bigger goals right now is um, creating some more passive income streams you know one of the reasons that I'm doing a course like this another one is weight loss so I've been working on that for a while I anticipate I'll be working on it probably for at least another year and uh, and increasing continuing to increase in my academic knowledge because I'm a professor and so uh, connected with my bigger goals are some concrete things I need to do to achieve them and so for um, for instance for passive income streams it's particular courses I'm currently working on for weight loss it's exercising six days a week it's counting my calories in myfitnesspal.com and um, it's uh, on occasion fasting once or twice a week for a period of time. So each of those big goals that I have have some concrete things um, to remind myself I need to do. Lastly, my areas of focus are just different aspects of my life. You know, I'm a, I'm a husband, I'm a father, I'm a, I'm a Christian. Mm -hmm. um, I do kind of lots of different things in my life, like all of us. And really, I want to remind myself 
of the kind of person I want to be, how I want to function in those different roles in my life. And so in each of those sections, I have a paragraph that I read every morning. I compose it. Sometimes I change it up and I have to rewrite it or add a sentence or two. Um, sometimes I read something and I'm just like, oh, I love the way that that person just said that. I want that to be part of my you know, mission area, my area of focus. And so I just steal it. I just add it right in there or I reword it for myself. So this is what my areas of focus are. Again, they're always being tweaked, but ha reading through this out, you know, I, and I make, it a, I make it a priority not to skim this quickly. It's reading through and really believing and digesting what I've said I want to accomplish and the kind of person I want to be. And you think about the residual benefits of that. Again, because so often we have goals, you know, if we think about it, we would like to do this, but we never write it down. We never write concrete action steps. We never think you don't give ourselves time to think about it. And so this reviewing of your goals and your mission, like I said, I call it my creed. Um, it just helps keep it in front of us, right? If you're reading this every morning, it's such a good reminder to say, oh yeah, I got to work on that goal. This is a big goal. This needs to affect and inform the rest of my day. And so that's what this is all about. Um, I struggled with deciding whether or not to share my personal document, and I decided I will. Uh, being a good teacher is being a little bit vulnerable. And so uh, I've actually, uh, in this section, in text, I've actually shared uh, an example, uh, or I shared, not an example, I've shared it, how it currently stands right now along with just a little bit of commentary from me on what this says here and, and what it means to me, why I have it there. So uh, I hope you can appreciate that I'm kind of opening myself up for you a little bit and, and, and uh, kind of giving you a peek inside, inside my own head and my own thoughts.